Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have a really quick haul to share with you because I wanted you to know that these plants were available at such fabulous prices. Um, the first plant that I actually, to start off with, I have a plant from Aldi, the supermarket, and then I have a trade that I did on Facebook Marketplace. And I cannot identify all of the things in this container, this mixture that I got. So um, hopefully you guys will be able to help me with that. <laughs> I'm going to start off so with what I got from Aldi. It is the biggest plant and it's something that I've been waiting to go on sale in Home Depot. It never went on sale, but then I went into Aldi and I found it there. Look at this incredible Regal Shield alocasia. And I did just get her today, so yes, the um, I Spy <laughs> eye is going to be on her big time. Um, this is a Regal Shield alocasia. I have not taken her out of her packaging. She does have her latest leaf that has damage on it, but I know these grow so quickly. I, I just never had an issue with it. This plant was $14.99, and she is in a gray pot. There was only one in the store, and I will say that I went into, the reason why I knew they had these was because I went into a store and I saw a woman with one in her cart, but she said there was only one. And when I went to another store, they didn't have any, but then I went to yet another store and they had one. So I'm not sure if this was the special buy plant. I'm not sure if this was a special buy plant where they just got one of them in, but I was so happy I was able to track one down. Okay, and this is the first time I'm taking it out of the packaging. And I saw someone on Facebook Marketplace, not in the Marketplace, just in one of the groups that I'm in, she said that she bought a plant from this sale and it had mealybugs on it. So I'm just like really being cautious <laughs> with what I'm seeing. But so far, I'm not seeing anything terrible. I see some dried up leaves on the top. It's in an extremely chunky mix, which is perfect. Oh, this is so gorgeous. <laughs> Look at this baby. And that damaged leaf up there is the latest leaf that was damaged, but that's okay. Like I said, these grow so quickly. This one, this leaf is already pregnant, ready, ready to pop. So yes, this is my Regal Shield from Aldi for $14.99. <laughs> yes! I can't believe I got this thing for $14.99. I can't wait to fish through the soil to see if there are any corms inside. Okay, second plant that I have is from the Home Depot. And I, I showed this plant to you in my last um, Shop With Me video. And I went to the my favorite Home Depot and they did have this plant, but it was not in such good condition. Granted, by the time I went back, this one right here had already started to decline. It has some dried leaves, but this plant has, let's count them one two three four five six i see a six one down there six individual plants inside of this one pot none of the others had as many plants inside of one pot and so i purchased this one this plant is one of the terracotta classics and this is 16.98 and so six plants for 16.98 that is a major win I do believe I will keep them all together. I will repot it into a clear pot because I have an Ivory Coast. I don't know if I mentioned the fact that this is an Ivory Coast alocasia. Look how beautiful the leaf is. And I'm just looking at the back because again, I just got these and so I'm still watching them. They are all going to be put into bags to keep them separate from my collection. But um, this right here is a gorgeous plant and I can't wait to put, just clean her up. And I'm just going to take all of her soil, everything, and just transfer her over to a clear pot over a reservoir of moisture because that has is what has been working, been working <laughs> for my alocasia. 
putting them into a pot that sits over a reservoir of some type of moisture, whether it's water or moist sphagnum moss or even some moist um, perlite. It works out really well because they never feel stressed out because there's always a measure of moisture somewhere around them. So yeah, there she is, my Ivory Coast from Home Depot. <laughs> now this is a plant I purchased at the supermarket. This was from Stop and Shop and it was $3.99. So of course I went in there for cleaning solutions, but I came out with a plant. I still got the cleaning solutions though. Now this plant intrigued me because number one, I gave my mother-in-law my uh, Rojo Congo and I think I just missed that plant. And so <laughs> I saw this nice little tiny chubby one and I just thought I would just get this one. And I don't know what the variation of this philodendron is as much as it looks like whatever it is, it is a reverted something. <laughs> because if you look at this leaf right here, you will see that there is definitely some spots of variegation and that those variegated spots continue to the back. It's not just on the front. Well, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but right here I see the variegation and then the variegation that you see right here on the back, it is a different color. See, all of this right here is a different color on the front. So I'm not really sure if this is just a plant that is going to its green color or not, but I thought for $3.99 it really didn't matter because I just really, really liked it. I love the oblong leaves. I don't know, again, what type of plant it is in particular. Maybe it is just a green version of this plant, but whatever it is, it's gorgeous and I love it. This is a beautiful plant. And for $3.99, it's even more beautiful. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna move over to the plants that I did a trade for. Well, they're not plants, they're cuttings. And I haven't even taken them, taken them out to look at the roots or anything like that, but I was just hoping that you guys could help me identify some of them. I will start off first off with this right here. Guys, <gasps> look at this. Beautiful Monstera. Look at this Monstera. I didn't expect this in the trade. The person was so sweet. I traded some things that I had and they, it was not comparable, not at all. They, this was just kindness. Again, kindness. It is such a beautiful quality. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I trade, I always, tell people when I trade a shared plant is a happy plant so if there's anything that you're looking for let me know if I have it I'm okay with trading it with you because or just you know sharing something because yes I do feel that way honestly I share my plants all the time I cut them I bring them to my congregation some people have asked me well are you selling your plants no I'm not selling my plants is there something you're interested in here I can cut it for you it's no problem it'll just grow back bigger and better than ever and the kindness in the heart of sharing this Monstera Albo with me is something that will make that plant grow so much better. I do believe so. <laughs> I am in love with this plant and I still can't believe I have it. And we had a wonderful day. I don't know if you can see it right over here. Let me move this down. You see that stack of books right there? Those are all rainforest books because we are doing a rainforest um, unit study. And we've done it before, but my children were a lot younger. But now that they're older and they can appreciate different things um, a little bit better and more in a more mature sense, I really wanted to do it again. And we get to study plants <laughs> and hopefully some frogs. I want a frog so badly. So anyway, this plant right here okay, that's next guys, to so it. I actually had to, um, I have to re-record the end of this video simply because I had problems with the last recording. And so, yes, it's the, it's been four days and all of the plants that I was going to show you or the clippings that I was going to show you are actually potted up right now or separated into what they're going to be separated into for the most part. Some of them are still sitting all together, but they were separated and washed and everything like that. <laughs> okay, can I just mention, since I put up these Sansi lights, remember the ones I put all around the room? See, all of these right here, they go all the way around my room. Since I put those up, my plants in this room are 
growing so well. I really do believe that by springtime, this entire thing is just gonna be filled. This Diffenbachia, whew, it puts out two new leaves constantly because there were two plants in it. It's constantly shooting out a huge leaf. I can't believe the difference that this Sansi light has made in my room. Now, the one I have over here, it makes my plants happy, but it's the Sansi lights that made them like start to thrive. Ah, so exciting. Yes. <laughs> okay, now another part of my haul that I didn't get a chance to show you was this Anthurium clernervium. This I got in the Home Depot. Ah! <laughs> Guys, I just walked in and it was in a smaller Home Depot. One that normally does not get, it does get the, um, the Costa Farms like the white pots like this, but I have one that does not. But um, it is just a smaller Home Depot. Their plant department is just like a table and a round rack and that's just it. But they had this. I wasn't able to find them at any other Home Depot that I went to, but they had this beautiful Clarinervium. Is that what it is? I have to check again. Clarinervium. And I was just so excited to see her. She does have an inflorescence and I love her. I've already potted her up into um, a chunkier soil, but she's doing really well. I keep, I, I've had her for, it's been almost a week that I've had this one, but she has been in a separation bag. And Rosalyn, I know that you were asking me about the separation bag. And when I am suspicious of a plant, I leave them, those plants stay in those separation bags for a long time. but. Two weeks, three weeks usually is a good amount of time. This is the separation bag that I put this plant in. This right here, this bag came with a sheet set in it for my bedroom. It was a king size sheet set, I believe it was. And that's what I use for this. You see it has the zipper that goes all the way around. And I have been keeping that this plant in that bag and it's been doing really well. It does not, it is definitely not airtight because it doesn't develop condensation on the inside, but it does secure. There were some little holes at the top that had like a string that came through the top for a handle. I ended up putting tape on that because I want any bugs to stay inside if there are any. So far, I haven't seen anything on that plant. Okay. Oh, and I just wanted to show you this little bag that I found in Ikea. This is the perfect thing for a mini greenhouse or a separation bag because you open the sides. This is how wide it can be. This was $1.49. You see, this is the bottom and you can hang it up if you want to hang it up and it just zips around. It has a double zipper. So of course you can get all Look at that, guys. Look how big that is. That is amazing. And you can just put your plants in it to keep them separated. I love finding things like this because it's so important when you um, bring your plants home to simply separate them. You have to separate them. So look, this is one of the plants that was in the bundle and I've discovered, I believe this right here is a variegated Hartley philodendron. And there were three, there are four nodes that the guy put into the container for the swap. I did not expect this to be in there. I was in shock. I did not know. I, at first I looked, I said, that's a philodendron, but I'm not really sure what kind of philodendron. And then when I did the research, I realized it's a variegated Hartley philodendron and I am super excited to see her grow. So I'll keep her in here for now. And uh, this is just like so cool. <laughs> Another thing he included was this beautiful neon photos. Look at how vibrant the coloring is. I love this. There are one, two, three, four, five nodes that he shared with me. And yes, I have neon photos, but oh, 
they don't get old. They really don't. They don't get old. <laughs> okay, now this one right here, I believe is either a Epipremnum or Pothos Mint or Jasenia with high variegation. I'm not really sure which one it is. But boy, is she gorgeous. Look how beautiful she is. I have one, two, three stems rooting, but there were four nodes, but I didn't want to disturb this baby leaf right here, and so I didn't chop this um, long piece down. Oh, I can't believe I have this. Look at this beautiful variegation. Now, I know once upon a time I had a Jasenia, but it was a cutting, it was a reverted cutting, and it never took on color, so yes love it <laughs> now over here I have um, these are all these are all in moss and this is where I'm going to need more help okay you know I'm always on patrol so this is where I'm going to need more help now I did separate everything and I believe this is ooh, so cute. Oh, and she, look at the roots. Look at those roots. These were fresh cuttings. Look at this beauty. This looks like the billetier, but that's not, but the billetier is green, unless it, there's a variegated billetier, but I'm not really sure. I'm still researching, guys. Okay, let me put this over here. And then I also have this beautiful cutting that again has beautiful roots. And this is a billetier. I hope I'm right with this, but wow. Again, I did not expect these to be in there. And then there is this, and this one had a lot of roots, but they rotted. I don't know what this is. Um, my son seems to think that it is a Xanadu or the Philodendron Hope, but I've never seen a Philodendron Hope with leaves like this. I'm not really sure what this is. I don't even know that it's a, I, I do think, the Philodendron Hope has been reclassified as being a non-Philodendron and they smell very, very different from Philodendron. So I'm not really sure. But if you know, please let me know. <laughs> Okay, and then we have this one, which yes, I do believe is the philodendron hope, I believe. It has a strong smell like a hope. Or the Xanadu, I think those are all the same plant. But yes, this is another one and I can't wait to grow her. <laughs> and then I know what this one is. This one is a painted lady and she is cute. Oh, I love this plant. This plant does not get old to me at all. Look how pretty she is. The variegation on that is gorgeous. Can you imagine this in a little tiny white pot? That would be so cute. So the last one is this beauty here, and this is a philodendron. I'm not really sure what type of philodendron. You can see the veining on the front and the back. I don't know. I really just don't know what type, ooh, I really just don't know what type of philodendron that is. It could just be the, um, I mean, the stem is red, the veining on the back is red, but on the front it is green. And I'm, I'm really excited because I know that these plants tend to grow very, very quickly and I just can't wait. I mean, it already has a baby coming in. I just can't wait to see her grow and grow and grow. So those are all of the plants that I had in my plant swap and I'm so excited about them all. And again, I didn't expect to receive all of those things. And I certainly didn't expect to receive all of those things alongside an elbow, which the very, he showed a picture of the mama plant and she is amazing. That's why her babies look so good. She's amazing. I'm so excited about her. I'm just looking up there. I thought I forgot one um, plant, but I didn't. I think I have everything. 
I was just so excited. I love to do plant swaps this summer. Well, actually not in the summertime, in the springtime, I'm actually organizing a plant swap in the community at the local library. I've already spoken to the people at the library about um, renting their patio area so that we can just go and do a plant swap. They actually have a seed starter pro, um, program there where you can go and just like pick up seeds. They just have seeds for you to come and take and it'll be perfect there are so many people there that in that area that have like lots and lots of plants in their yard so i think it's going to be a great thing and i will definitely share with you when i do that um plant swap and i'm sorry i just washed my hair so if my hair is dripping please forgive me <laughs> So that is it guys. I am so happy I was able to share these with you. And again, if you are looking for a, I can't remember the name of this plant ever, a clear nervium. I did find one at the Home Depot. It was 1999, 1998, Clear nervium. yes. 1998 so I'm really excited about her I'm excited about growing her and tell me if you think I should cut the inflorescence I don't plan on breeding or pollinating I don't have anything to pollinate it with anyway <laughs> but um, tell me if you think I should cut the lip the inflorescence off there is another leaf growing in that caterpillar right there and so I kind of want to cut the inflorescence off but then I don't I don't know if she has been in my care long enough for me to start, you know, playing around with her like that. I don't want to put her into shock. So I may end up just leaving her, but you tell me if you are familiar with these plants, if you think I should cut the inflorescence off. So thank you so much for joining me today. I truly appreciate you stopping by. I always appreciate you spending some of your precious time here watching a video. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.